Well, there goes my four foot level. I thought I had everything picked up, but obviously I didn't. Summertime has a tendency to be a little bit crazy around here, as it is for most people, I'm sure. In the last couple of weeks, we've had my older brother and his wife, my younger brother and his wife, two kids, in-laws, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, four kids, my wife's sister, a couple of kids, literally dozens of friends, and we've got more coming. Now, as much as I had hoped to be done with the concrete by now, I'm just not able to spend as much time up here for obvious reasons. But it's time to get back to it. It's getting super warm up here right now. This particular side of the house, the sun beats down on and it reflects right off that Tyvek. It's, it, so it gets pretty warm pretty quick. I've got to get these trenches cleaned out, widened out, and prepped for rebar. Now when I ran the trencher over them initially, they were about eight inches wide and I wanted them a little bit wider than that, especially at the turn downs. So I'm now taking the time to dig it out and get it where I feel comfortable. Now coach says I have to have 30 inches in depth. The upside to the summer months is the butterflies and the bees for sure. The idea behind setting forms with a monolithic pour can be a little bit tricky, but I still have a whole bunch of these tongue and groove 2x8s from the Provo job that I went down and did with my, my buddy Josh. As I started to get the form set and get things prepped, again we had more families show up. I hadn't seen my two nieces in a few years, so I thought it was time to take a break. My sister-in-law and her two kids were on our way through, and so we took some time out to hang out with them for a day and a half or so. One of my favorite things to do when I first get up to the property is just to sit and think, contemplate what I've got to get done, think about what I hope the place looks like. Seems to help me get focused, seems to help me deal with the challenges. But back to the forms. The idea with these forms is because it's a monolithic pour, I have to get support somewhere.
By putting kickers and stakes off the forms, it creates the stability that's necessary when pouring the concrete. So I'm trying to build everything off this very first form. Before I pour the concrete, I will take the two windows out and cut the doorways in so I can make sure that we pour the concrete perfectly level with the existing foundation. This morning it got so hot that I started to feel a tinge of heat stroke, so I ran into town and got me a canopy just to be safe. It's hard work. This clay is so hard. This stuff breaks off in chunks. Using my digging bar and my trenching shovel, I was able to get it done. About the time I needed the help, Matthew, his boys showed up again. They were just here a few weeks ago helping me with the T-posts. Now he brought his wife and the rest of his family up and they're ready to go to work. So Matthew and his boys are helping me get these forms set. As we get each form set, we use the laser level to ensure that we're setting it exactly where it needs to be. Again, as usual, these guys are in their keep. In just a matter of a couple hours, they helped me get things dug out and ready for these forums. In my opinion, monolithic pours can be a lot stronger than a conventional pour, but they use more concrete. I think most guys don't care for them in the trades. The footings and turn downs have a tendency to be quite a bit thicker and therefore need more mud. The very last thing I wanted to do was pull a string line and check my depths. Now that I know the forms are the proper height, I measured to see where we were low and high. And the highest point, I was about four and a half inches out. The lowest point, I was about seven. So I've got a little bit of dirt to move around, but it's not too bad. My goal for this next week is to get focused on the well. So I'm gonna rough the plumbing in, get it inspected, and get the concrete poured, and then get seriously focused on getting water up the hill.